So this lamp I have to turn on and off this lamp, I have to use this SSR. Now here one condition is there that this SSR must not be turned on through any switch or push button. I need to operate this relay through a cell phone. I mean if I press a button in mobile phone then bulb turns on and by pressing same button bulb turns off. So to turn on and off this relay through a mobile phone we have to use a Wi-Fi controller. To provide power supply to all these devices I am using a MCB here. So I have to turn on and off this bulb through this solid state relay. So what I will do is the phase supply wire of this lamp take this wire and you can see one number terminal and two number terminal in this relay. Among these two terminals connect this wire with any one. I am connecting wire at two number terminal because two number terminal is output terminal. I am using NO contact of this relay so at input terminal of NO contact I have to provide phase supply. To implement this I am taking this wire and connecting with phase supply of MCB. Take other end of wire and to the one number terminal of this relay connect this wire. When relay is on power supply from here will go to this point and it directly turn on this lamp. Take neutral wire of lamp and connect directly with MCB so that this gets neutral supply directly. Now the relay I have to turn on this relay I have to use this Wi-Fi controller. To implement this work what I will do is to this relay I am providing input power supply so that this Wi-Fi controller turns on. I am taking two wires here connect both these wires with output terminals of MCB. One wire is connected with phase supply and other wire is connected with neutral supply of MCB. Power supply from these wires will go to this Wi-Fi controller. In this Wi-Fi controller here L and N terminals are there. So with these two terminals connect these wires. Now what we have to do from this Wi-Fi controller take output power supply and provide supply to this relay to turn on and off. But one problem occurs here is to turn on this relay we need to provide DC power supply. And the Wi-Fi controller I have here provides AC power supply. This means we have to convert AC power supply into DC power supply. For this we have to use SMPS. The SMPS I have here provides 24 volt as output. I have to check here one more thing that the SSR I have operates at how much voltage. On this relay it is written 3 to 32 volt DC power supply. This means to operate this relay I can provide 3 volt to 32 volt power supply. I have 24 volt SMPS so we can use this. For solution to this problem first of all we have to provide input power supply to this SMPS also. So that this SMPS starts converting AC power supply into DC power supply. For this work again I have to use two wires. I have to connect these wires at output terminals of MCB. But at the output terminals of MCB I already connected to two wires. So I am not going to connect any other wire here. The wires which is coming to this point with the same point I am connecting these two wires. Let's disconnect this once. After disconnecting the connection take both these wires and connect with phase and neutral supply terminals. The wires are now connected. Now this phase supply and neutral supply wires these wires need to be connected with this SMPS. In this SMPS you can see L and N is written. So I am connecting these wires directly. If you even interchange these wires then there won't be any problem. You can change phase supply and neutral supply. Ok now we even got DC power supply. Now we only have to perform connections to turn on this by DC power supply. If you have seen my previous video on Wi-Fi controller then you must have known that Wi-Fi controller directly provides AC power supply. There is no NO contact in this. It directly uses the phase supply from here. So the problem which arrived here is this Wi-Fi controller which provides AC power supply cannot be used directly to turn on this relay. In between we have to use a device. For this work you can use a contactor or if you want you can use a relay also. We use this contactor to turn on and off any heavy load so I am not gonna use this much big contactor. Instead I am going to use this relay here so that I can easily control the control supply. Before performing the connections of this relay First we will look at the operating voltage of coil. Ok you can see here it is written 24 volt DC. This means to operate this relay we have to provide DC power supply. We cannot use this relay. Remove this. I have here another relay. You can see it is written 220 volt slash 240 volt. This means this relay will work on AC power supply. So I am gonna use this relay. 
in this relay how many nonc contact are there have a look okay in this relay two nonc contact are there so i can connect both positive and negative and can control if in this relay only one no contact was present then i can control only positive power supply but right now we have two nonc contact so we will control both positive and negative power supply to do this work with positive and negative power supply terminals of smps i have to connect wires i am taking two wires take one wire and connect with positive terminal of smps and connect another wire with negative terminal of smps so connection is done here now power supply from both these wires will go to common terminal of this relay 9 and 12 number terminals are common terminals 5 and 8 are for no contact so we have to use these contacts only the above terminals in this relay are of no contact i mean 5 and 8 number terminals with both these terminals i am connecting these wires now from common terminal of this relay we will provide power supply to this ssr so that it gets on now what we have to do take this wire and connect with positive terminal of ssr from black wire we get negative power supply so i will connect this wire with negative terminal for negative power supply four number terminal and for positive power supply three number terminal now to turn on and off this relay through wifi controller what we will do is in this wifi controller at output terminal here here no is written from no terminal you will get phase supply so with this terminal directly connect a wire now take other end of this wire and provide phase supply to this relay to be turned on so what we have to do take this wire and to the coil terminal of this relay below here you will find coil terminal so with these terminals you have to connect the wire now to control this relay we have to provide neutral power supply also so this wire here i am connecting this wire with the relay we have to connect with relay coil don't connect anywhere okay i connected the wire now take one end of the wire and connect with neutral terminal of mcb wiring is now fully completed let's fit this relay also let's turn on the mcb after turning on mcb power is supplied to smps you can see here indication is glowing when this relay is on then only this ssr will turn on now to turn on this we have to use our smartphone to turn on and off this wifi controller here through smartphone you have to use ev link app i already connected this wifi controller to this app if you want to learn how to connect wifi controller with this app then i already made a video on this link will be provided in description now i am pressing the button here one minute it didn't turned on wifi controller is on red indication is there i am turning off no indication is there this means this mobile is turning on and off this wifi controller but this controller is not turning on this relay there may be some mistake in wiring i have to check this okay then let's find out the error to solve this problem i need to use a multimeter i selected multimeter on ac power supply let's check the input voltage first okay it is 240 volts now here this wifi controller is operating when this wifi controller is operated after then this relay must turn on we have to check this connect the probe of multimeter here and connect this one with positive here we are getting 240 volt with negative power it is zero here okay turn on this first after turning on place probe here and again here here i think we are getting negative power supply in this wire i have to check this for this first of all if here negative power supply is coming then we have to connect this wire with positive terminal i need to open this turn off the mcb okay i removed this wire i am directly connecting this wire with mcb at phase terminal to this relay phase supply will be provided from here and negative power supply is coming from here if wifi controller is generating negative supply from here then relay will turn on let's check this one more time here i turned on the mcb after this open this mobile when i turn on this here wifi controller turned on this means at this point negative power supply is coming at this point i have to provide phase supply so i am directly touching here to check touch a little okay my relay is now operating okay i forgot that this wifi controller gives negative power supply from output it does not give phase supply little interchanging in wires is required turn off this mcb one last time this wire here will be connected with phase supply so i am opening this from here now this wire will be connected at phase terminal of mcb 
now this wire here is going to be connected with Wi-Fi controller. Okay, now everything is done. Let's check one more time. Turn on this MCB. Okay, green indication is there and it is connected. Now I am turning on. Okay, relay is turning on but this SSR is not getting on. I think there are lots of errors. Now what is the problem? SMPS is on and I must get DC power supply here. Let's check the DC power supply also. Right now Wi-Fi controller is on, relay is also on. This means power supply going to this, here we must get DC power supply. Here I am getting 24 volt DC power supply. Let's turn off this again. After turning off this, it is zero now. It means I am getting DC power supply here. So when DC power is supplied from here, this must be turned on. Let us check the power supply here also. Red probe at positive terminal and connect black probe at negative terminal. Wi-Fi controller is on and relay is also on. Here I am getting the voltage but here negative symbol is there. It means supply is interchanged. It may be possible that due to input power which is supplied here, it is getting interchanged. Ok, let's open this now. I am directly opening this, not turning off the MCB. So I am removing both the wires. After removing the wires, connect this one here and this one here. Ok, finally you can see here, now I got everything. Let's turn off the MCB. Make all the connections properly. I connected this and this also got connected. Here problem which was occurring before, this SMPS in output is providing negative supply in place of positive supply and in place of negative it is providing positive supply. Turn on this MCB, press this button, lamp turns on. You can see lamp is on now. On again pressing button, lamp goes off. Lamp on, lamp off. Ok then, just now you have seen that this solid state relay here to connect this relay with mobile, how many devices we need to use here. And when we are connecting all these devices, how many problems we face, you learned this also. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, give like on my video. If you are new to the channel, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching this video.